Hello everybody. Today we are going to learn how to use doubles to add near doubles fluently or quickly. Before we begin looking at how doubles can help us add near doubles fluently, let's look at some vocabulary words. In this addition sentence, the five and six are the add-ins. Add-ins are the numbers that are added together. The last number in this addition sentence is 11. 11 is a sum or answer to the addition problem. A doubles fact is an addition problem where the add-ins are the same. For example, in this addition problem, 4 plus 4 equals 8, the add-ins 4 and 4 are the same. Because the add-ins are the same, this is a doubles fact. How can we tell this addition fact is a doubles fact? If the add-ins are the same, it is a doubles fact. Now that we know what a doubles fact is, let us see how using doubles can help us add near doubles fluently or quickly. Let's look at the example 4 plus 5. 4 plus 5 is a near double. To add this addition problem fluently, we can think of a doubles fact. To do this, we will add the smallest add-in twice or double it. In this addition problem, the 4 is the smallest add-in. I will double this add-in to have an addition problem of 4 plus 4. I will now show you how to add 4 plus 4 by using a 10 frame. The first addant is a 4, so I will place 4 dots in my 10 frame. The second addant is a 4, so I will also place 4 dots in my 10 frame. When I count them, I can see that 4 plus 4 equals to 8. The first 4 dots in the 10 frame represent the 4 in the first addant of 4 plus 5. The second set of 4 dots represent part of the addant 5. I need to add one more dot to get to 5. The sum of 4 and 5 is 9 because I added one more dot. You can also see this by breaking apart or decomposing the 5 into 4 and 1 because 4 plus 1 equals to 5. So to quickly or fluently add 4 plus 5, we could think of the double fact 4 plus 4 and add one more to give us 9. Let's look at another example, 7 plus 6. Again, to add this near double, we will start with the doubles fact. To get the doubles fact, we will double the lowest or smallest addant, the 6 and add them together. I will then use a 10 frame to add 6 plus 6. I will place 6 dots in the 10 frame for the first addant and another 6 dots for the second addant and then I will add them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I have a sum of 12 for 6 plus 6. The first 6 dots represent the 6 in the second addend of 6, 7 plus 6. The second set of dots represent part of the addend 7. I need to add one more dot to my 10 frame to get 7. The sum of 7 plus 6 is 13 because I just needed to add one more to the 12. You can also see this if I break apart or decompose the number 7. I can decompose it into 6 and 1 because 6 plus 1 equals to 7. So you can see that by using a double fact, 6 plus 6 equals 12, I could add one more to get the answer to my problem, 7 plus 6 equals to 13. Knowing some doubles facts will help us add near doubles fluently. Let's take a look at some of these doubles facts. 1 plus 1 equals 2. 
2 plus 2 equals 4. 3 plus 3 equals 6. 4 plus 4 equals 8. 5 plus 5 equals 10. 6 plus 6 equals 12. 7 plus 7 equals 14. 8 plus 8 equals 16. 9 plus 9 equals 18. 10 plus 10 equals 20. We learned that to add near doubles fluently, we could use its doubles fact. We can do that by looking at an addition problem and determining or figuring out which is the smallest addend and adding it or doubling it. Then we add one more to our sum to give us the answer for our addition problem. Thank you everybody.